So we're going to do something a little bit different for the update today. Rather than look at me the whole time, I thought I would take the opportunity to give you a tour of the old meeting house here in Bessels Green, just outside of Seven Oaks, which is also home to the Seven Oaks Unitarians. This is where Stacy and Ailish and I have been living and I have been doing some work for the last five months. This building on the left is the residence. We'll go into there a little bit later. The little blue, uh, green door there was our front door while we were here. And then this is the door to the meeting house itself. So this new wing of the church is actually quite recent. It was only built in about 2000. Of a combined meeting area and kids room. A kitchen. And this will surprise very few people at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. The latest um, addition to this building was actually brought on uh, by the need for bathrooms. So. Uh, a solid part of this wing is the three bathrooms. As we move through this door, we move into the old piece of the meeting house. So where we came in was built in the 2000s. Where we're standing now is about 300 years older. This is the what would have been the narthex to the congregation, and this would have been the front door as originally built. So, originally, that would have been the gate to the church, down on what's now called Arbor Lane. It was built like that because when this church was built, and founded in the 1630s, it was founded as a dissenting church, which means it was technically illegal. So rather than front the main road out there, the entrance to the church was actually back on a not well used country road. It would have looked like this from the outside as you come in. That history of um, the legality of meeting is really interesting. The Ipswich Unitarian Meeting House actually still has a, a, a little hole in the door that you can see down an alley and check if anybody is waiting to come arrest you on the way out of church. So the minister's office is old is up in the old vestry. Everything is a little bit empty now because Stacy and Ailish have already left and I'm leaving tomorrow. So it's uh, apologies that this looks both very sterile and a little bit messy. I haven't done the last last clean yet, but we have gotten most of our stuff packed. I'm pretty sure this is Martineau. I've never quite figured out. It's unlabeled. The previous minister was actually using that space until Easter, so it's only been relatively recently that I've moved up there. Before then, I was doing most of my work over in the residence. Here we have the sanctuary, the meeting house proper. We wouldn't actually call it a sanctuary here. 
it's set up like this because the the congregation rents out the building to several different groups over the course of the week, including a, a creative writing group and a Pilates group. So I think Pilates was probably the last people in here, so the chairs are set up like this. You can see it's a beautiful, beautiful space. I don't know if the video will capture the acoustics in here, but it's clearly a space built prior to amplification. The chandelier up here is actually one of the oldest pieces that the congregation has. It's probably 17th century, it's Dutch. Um, and if you can see, it's not uh, electrified. Those are, those are just wax candles in there. I'm told that they're lit at Christmas, and uh, other than that, they are, they are not lit, as this is a, <laughs> a wood roof on an old brick building, so uh, it's a little bit of a fire risk. So if you could imagine, originally the, the front door was out that way and to the, to the right, and as originally set up, the pulpit would be right about where that clock is now. It was only later in the church's history that they moved the pulpit to the long axis. Right. So whenever you sit in here for services, the churchyard is very present. And the ancestors are with us in worship every Sunday. As is occasionally laundry out the other side. I don't think we've actually used that on Sunday morning before, but, uh, but there it is. So you'll see more of this room tomorrow. I'm going to record a, a worship service here um, and use that for the, uh, I think it's July 2nd service in Lincoln. So one more thing before we go into the residence is this list of ministers, which is just a remarkable document to look at. Now, it does show its time and its culture. They are all men on this list, which we've had some conversations about while I've been here. But to see a line that you are in some way a part of that goes back to 1640 is, uh, is something that doesn't really exist in American Unitarianism. It can't exist in American Unitarianism. Other than that, pamphlets, literature, that's, yeah, that's pretty much the same in any church you go to. Um, so next we have the very, very long commute. And there we go. We're now in the residence. That <coughs> three-foot hallway is just through a door in our kitchen. <laughs> so, um, I joke about my commute in Lincoln being short, but truly, I will never have a commute like the one that I had in Seven Oaks. So the residence, which uh, they call the manse here, is, uh, is a just tidy apartment. Um, this is the kitchen, which as you imagine is where we, like most families, spent most of our time. <laughs> we still have a whiteboard with all the packing stuff that we are getting done with over there. Our living room, which we have used uh, not as often as you would think, spending most of our time in the kitchen. More views of the churchyard. And then upstairs are the bedrooms. So 
a guest bedroom that was for a while my office as I finished up my thesis. Let's see, there I am. The bathroom, that was usually Ailish's. She was very excited about the sparkly toilet. Stacy's workspace for most of our time here. Ailish's bedroom. It's actually real sad without her art or self in here. But this room was often full of giggles. And then Stacy and I's bedroom. And back down where we started. It's funny, you can see whoever comes in and out of the church from our bedroom, the kitchen, and our living room. So it really is a very, um, you are very present to the business of the church while you live here uh, for both good and bad. All right, um, we don't actually have a, <laughs> a dryer, so you can see our, our clothes hanging. And that's, that's about it. been a good place to live. You know, when I was um, six or seven years old, my parents had a, a Renault Alliance. It's a terrible car. Terrible car. Um, but they finally were able to get rid of it when I was probably six years old. And I remember sitting in the back seat right before they gave it a to the people that were buying it using the the seat belts one more time because I didn't want to forget <laughs> the Renault Alliance that was such a part of our lives for so long. This place has been a much more comfortable place to live than the Renault Alliance was a car and, uh, and we'll miss it a lot. We'll miss it a lot. At the same time, it'll be nice to get back to our own space in Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh, one last fun architectural fact. This, um, the closest side of the building that you're seeing right now is an expansion um, to the residence that was put there in, in 2000, the same time that they put in the new bedroom, or the new, the new bathrooms. It was to accommodate the, the last called minister who had a family. Um, but this is as far as they can expand because right down here, this pile of stone is actually um, a mounting block for horses, and it is a, uh, a listed historic item, um, so they cannot move or change it. So this is as far as the church will ever expand, um, because you can't, uh, you can't do anything uh, with that mounting block. All right, I think that's it for the big tour. Um, I will be back tomorrow, um, both uh, with, with a worship service here, um, but also I'll try and talk a little bit about um, General Assembly. We have a, a vote on the initial um, adoption of the uh, Article 2 proposal, to at least consider it for another year, uh, that we should know the results of by uh, tomorrow afternoon, so I'll try and talk about those um, in the update. See you then.